Recently, I've been playing Trackmania on a joystick, and after getting a top 25 time on a campaign map, I wanted to get even better. So I started practicing dirt maps, and let me tell you, this thing is pretty damn powerful. I won't spoil how it went, but I really hope you enjoy the video. I, I think I want to stick to easier precision maps, because this stuff is, is a lot to learn. Let's try this. So here on dirt, you have to no slide. All the way. 1308. I wonder if you want to go up those hills more. Oh, you can. Twelve ninety three. Okay, dirt's got to be good on the joystick. I really think it is. Yeah, because here I, I am not failing my no slides at all. I'm like getting s tiny bits of, of sliding during that. You voted, deal. Thank you so much. Wait, I'm faster. 89, okay, fifth, hang on. I'm hitting the wrong angle on that. BB! 87. We could keep going. We've spent 13 minutes on a small dirt map. But we did beat Granati, who probably did that first try, not gonna lie. Okay, third. There's always one thing to consider for these maps. It's like, okay, you beat a good player, but how long did you spend versus how long did they spend? I don't think I'm better than Granati if he spent one minute and I spent 14. <laughs> Never feel happy about your achievements, got it? You can feel happy, but they can also backfire on you. If I now say, haha, guys, I beat Granati. I am better than Granati with the snow car. He's gonna go live tomorrow, play that map for two attempts, and school me. He's going to completely school me on how much of an idiot I am. So your uh, decisions can come back to haunt you. Not trying keeper on the other map. I feel like I don't really need the comparison. Because I'm not really looking back. I'm like quite certain that this will make me better, you know? If you get a 13, 17, 5, I'll tell my crush I like her. Will you though? With proof? We could prove to this guy that anything is possible. I think when it looks like that, it's actually sliding. I think when it when I see it like um visibly separate, even though they're connected, it's not like a quantum slide with this car, it's actually a slide. And that costs speed. Yeah. PB! Oh, scrap, you got a 16. I'm a bit upset that wasn't sub 20. Let me try again. Understanding that separation thing, I think helps a lot. So that was a huge slide, I think. What's faster, joystick or my cheats? That's the thing that's kind of annoying is I'm realizing analog keyboard, even if you cook it at like the perfect settings it's still just gonna be worse than this to the point where it's like why was there outrage but i also understand why there was outrage okay next map i could improve but arc server you're gonna have to uh find different reason to ask your crush i cannot help you this is a fascinating map because this is so slow holy this is the most slow map I've seen. I think to me this is the most interesting one yet, out of these dirt maps. Because it's like so painfully simple. But yeah, it's so difficult to get a good time. I can at least do a 14, maybe a, maybe a 13. There's a 14. <laughs> we'll see if I can get to a 13 or a 12. Beaker and Audi, that's kind of the goal in all these maps. It's a bit 
It's nothing personal. It's just fun to see if you can beat Granati. Because he is the snow car god. Watch me drop like a 1510 here. Unbeatable snow car record. Right now. I do think, in general, chat, if you're wondering like what could always be good for what, couldn't it? The answer is, as with any device, pretty much everything if you're comfortable with it. Like mouse, steering wheel, joystick, controller, keyboard, it's all good if you're used to it. But for like the tippy top, for an advantage, I don't think there's much. This guy's I think analog is, is pretty equal with analog. Oh, 12-5? Okay. We this beat Granati. It's very close yeah. though between the records. Maybe he had an 11. Love to see you mastering this. New arc. Like, I don't want to have a big weakness in my in my skill set, you know? I don't want to have, like, just something that is I'm bad at and that I say, oh, I can't learn this because it's bad for keyboard. And if if I am right in my prediction, I hope I'm wrong, but if I'm right in my prediction that they are not really going to improve things for keyboard that much, then it better to change sooner than later. You can get joysticks for $20, you can get joysticks for like $300, $400. Uh, this one's $80. Like the most precise line is not the best one. I lost 100 here and I drove perfectly close to the walls. You need to go a little bit wide on the first one for speed, I think. And then recover it on the second one. Hmm, but that's only 0.1 more speed. Very hard. You should watch World Record. I do kind of regret not watching the World Record on this, because I, I think I might be missing something. Strategy-wise. But it would also be really cool if I get to an 11 without having seen any ghosts. How did you become so comfortable with this so quickly? Specifically because we're playing very slow map Sopo. This like, the reaction time I need to have for this dude, is very that slow. Stick brings me joy. When I played faster tracks, like couple of day snow car tracks, I do not have a chance. So we're play we're playing maps that are easier. <laughs> nah, guys, should I give up on this? It would be so hyped to get a, a really pristine one on this. It's such a satisfying turn too to, to drive full inside on that. Wait. Why is that so much faster? And speed. Maybe I have to exit the wide line earlier. There could be things I'm not seeing here. Whoa! I think that matters! That should not have been a 13 flat. But just going like up, tight, and then flattening out? It's such small details, but everyone's within a hundred, so like, you gotta see these things for what they're worth. That's a big discovery, I think. I think that's why the- I, I honestly think this is why the times are so close on the map. Because wide lines give more speed, and tight lines give less speed, and it all balances out. I think I should stick to the tight line plan and just send it. <laughs> tie. Okay. Okay, tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. Does it have a way to keep sliding from my desk? Uh, yes, with my other hand. I, like, pull down. If I don't, then... Yeah. <laughs> so I have to, I have to, like, hold it down gently. You need to learn to give up? Why? Where do you think my mindset has gotten me so far? My mindset of not giving up. Sometimes it's bad because I end up spending two hours typing to prove one chatter wrong, but I can type fast. Other times, the same mindset makes me not give up on my ideas that are actually good. Like hunting for world records or, or making videos that end up doing well. You will never be a pilot. Why do you sound like my dad? I feel bad making that joke about my dad because my dad is a very supportive person. But it was funny in the context to pretend like I didn't have a supportive dad, but I do. And I'm very happy for it. People happy. Have you ever clapped for a pilot chat? I'm thinking of making it a habit. It's a dying tradition and we need to stop this. We need to give appreciation to a pilot, else they'll be replaced by AI if no humans are happy for the pilot. Then say thank you when you're leaving the plane. I mean, yes, but I feel like it's more impactful to clap- Oh, in the moment. 
please. Um, it's the pilot's job. Imagine you could just, like the pilot was a streamer. You could just tell him PogChamp when he landed. Or like Weird Champ if he, uh, if he landed badly. And he would see it on a screen. Are you also clapping for taxi drivers? Because car accidents are more likely. I've heard, no, this is condescending. This is condescending, and I think it's condescending because it's, you're, you're only, I've, I thought about this. It's condescending because you're only one person there, and so the clapping will not have like a, everyone's happy with you effect. It'll seem ironic because it's just one person doing it. Applause seems ironic when it's only one person doing it, but when the group does it, it is approval. On a bus then, if everyone on the bus clapped, it would be, uh, approval. If they had Twitch chat talking about their flying, I think, I this think turn plane is cool. crashes would go up. According to Twitch chat, they do nothing, the pilots anyways. It's all autopilot. So it's not like it matters. <gasps> yes, 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 boom, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Joystick aficionado, holy, wow, that was a lot of work. It looks so simple, but this is anything but. Then it's gonna get beaten. You can do a point time, guys, but hey. Kinda cool, though. Kinda cool. I posted a tweet about your mod. Wait, Janik, what's that? <laughs> Does anyone else have a chatter like this? 99 timeouts. What the hell? <laughs> He's capped out. That's insane.